We are here today to present you the Influence Europe project in cooperation with European Parliament to reflect on the problems but also new opportunities we have been facing for the past year. As young people with influence, we are the ones that have an impact to do amazing things and to do our best to broaden people's perspectives on many important issues. How will technology impact our lives in the future? What is essential to protect the environment for future generations and how can we truly become conscious in the textile and clothing industry? From health, environment and sustainability, we have the power to face everyday struggles and challenges that we can overcome together. Before we start, support us by hitting that subscribe button and check out our whole Influence Europe project on the European Parliament YouTube channel. Now, let's look at the best moments of Influence Europe for the years 2020 and 2021. Can the European Parliament make things more sustainable uh, in the fashion industry? What do you think? Of course, yes. I think uh, there are many European Union standards that you have to, uh, if you are establishing your own uh, company or fashion brand, you have to be uh, in those standards or you can't use so many chemicals in uh, producing uh, the clothes or something like that. There are many, many restrictions in European Union. And I think that's great. That's amazing because we're thinking not just how I'm looking today, but we are looking, we are thinking also about tomorrow and we need to think sustainably. Do you feel like art has helped people in this COVID period? Absolutely. Can you imagine yourself uh, spending the lockdown without the movies, without the music, without the TV series? Um, I don't think so. I don't think it's possible. Thank God for art. Thank God for books, uh, you know. Do you think the future of music is online? I hope not. Uh, <laughs> it, it is crucial for an artist to be in as much as many connections with the audience as possible of course i'm using online platforms to to connect with my audience but um a big part of my life is uh, performance and uh, interaction with the live performance use this uh, magic you know into uh, environmental protection you know oh that would be good we can make all climate problems just disappear <laughs> Yeah, the magic! Today we are talking about uh, protecting our environment and uh, how important that is uh, for our future generation. Do you have uh, something to tell to audience, to, to people watching this, uh, how you can encourage them to help uh, saving our world and uh, our environment? Every one of us is able to um, make a change. So it's, it doesn't start with your neighbor, it doesn't start with anybody else, it starts with us. So we, ha we have to be the ones that make the change. So we uh, start using paper bags, we start uh, uh, using clean energy. Uh, we are the ones who are gonna make it, so. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, and uh, <laughs> there's a small things that we can do. We can uh, turn off light when uh, we are not using it. Uh, small things can actually make change if we are all doing yeah, it. Exactly. So when you're not uh, in a room, just turn off the light. Uh, don't waste water and uh, that's it. We can maybe save uh, the world. <laughs> yeah, we will. We will, yeah. We will save the world. <laughs> Together. Together yeah. we can do it. Yeah. What do you think about uh, the health system and the health workers out there helping uh, the sick in hospitals across the world? I mean, they're they're awesome because they're doing their job. Even though it's hard, they're doing something to help others. So, uh, like, I'm, I'm proud of them in a sense. And influencers, how could they help? I mean, as I am uh, looking at different posts of influencers, I see they're posting a lot of stuff to help spread the awareness of it or how wow. There was one video, yeah, one, uh, one girl went to work, you know, in the hospital, and the whole, whole uh, neighborhood gathered to, you know, to give a plus to her. Like you're in this pandemic, you're still working to help others, and it was really nice. Uh, which European destination would you like to go? And maybe will that be Croatia or something <laughs> like that closer? Yeah. 
Uh, I spent all of my summers in my childhood in Croatia, so <laughs> um, seen everything, not everything, a lot. Um, I did plan London uh, for my birthday, in, now in November, of course I didn't go. Um, and I really want to go to Scotland again, and I think I was planning Amsterdam with my mom. But it's so, yeah. so, so important, and every, everybody of us, and even if it's just in a private situation, have to reflect that we don't have to separate, and we just yeah. um, give us we have to give us the hands to each other, yeah. to, speak to each other, and... I got course, chills, I got chills, yeah. <laughs> As our journey is coming to an end, we would like to thank all the members of the European Parliament and influencers who participated in our hashtag Influence Europe and hashtag Together EU project. Thank you for discussing important issues and bringing your fresh ideas on ways and solutions to move forward. Don't forget to support us by clicking that subscribe button on the European Parliament channel, leave a like, share this video with your friends and stay tuned for more hashtag TogetherEU projects to come.